Hi, how are you today? Today I'm going to be introducing you to something very, very interesting. Some of you may be familiar with this. In the late 1980s, I believe around 1987, 1988, Fisher Price came out with a disposable video camera. And as you can see, it was called the PXL 2000. And this was a video camera that actually recorded images on a standard cassette tape. Yeah, so for the time, it was very, very cool. And I bought this brand new, this is the original uh, camera bag that I bought back in 1988 when I was 16 years old. Inside is the camera, which I will show you in a moment. Uh, but this is the actual camera bag that I bought back in 1988. And I'm just going to open up this front part here. And I still have the original manual that came with the PXL 2000. And I still have a, a couple of cassettes in here. Not sure what's on them, but I do plan to uh, hook up my PXL to my television and uh, take a look at some of the old tapes because quite frankly, uh, I don't remember what's on these tapes. And I think it might be uh, kind of cool to uh, look back and see some of the stuff that I recorded when I was 16 years old. But basically, I bought the set. There was a set where you could buy the camera and it also came with a, a little like three and a half inch black and white television. And uh, basically with the PXL 2000, because the image was so pixelated, the smaller the screen, the smaller the television screen that you watched it on, the better the quality and the better the playback. But I'll get into that more later. This particular video is just a very basic introduction to the PXL 2000. I'm not going to get into a lot of details about it just yet. This is basically my part one video, but I do plan to do a more detailed video about the PXL 2000 uh, in the near future. So let's have a look at the camera itself. And here we go. There we have the Fisher-Price PXL 2000 from 1988. And as you can see, it's uh, pretty straightforward. I always love the handle on it. It's always very easy to hold. We have standard uh, cassette type buttons. We have stop, eject, rewind, play, and record. And I'm going to hit the eject button just to show you. And that's what that looks like. And it kind of goes without saying that uh, I found that it always worked best with chrome cassettes. When I tried to shoot images with normal bias cassettes, it just didn't look that great at all. Not that the image from the PXL 2000 was ever supposed to be good or, or high grade, but uh, it, it did look quite a bit better when I used chrome cassettes. Uh, this thing took six batteries. So you had down here on the bottom, a space for four double A's mm -hmm. and here in the front we put in two more right there okay and in the front we have a microphone and that's something too I also loved about the PXL 2000 because you're recording it recorded at a very high speed so basically one side of a 90 minute tape might be three minutes. I'll have to double check that, but I, I, if I recall correctly, it, it recorded so quickly that one side of a 90 minute tape would be, I think around three, maybe four minutes. Um, but because of that, the sound quality was excellent. As many of you know, when you run tape, when you record tape at a very high speed, it gives very good audio fidelity. And that's exactly what this, this little toy camera would do. We have our lens here. It is not detachable, but we have sort of a high setting and a low setting. So when you were, say, outside on a very sunny day, you would put it up on high to cut down on some of the glare. And when you were doing interiors, you would turn it down to low. Okay. Over here, we have a switch. So if that switch was up, it would not run. What I loved about that, you could hit play and record and if this was up, it would not start recording. It waited for you to push this switch down and then it would start recording. 
And then when I was finished, I would hit the switch back up. And what was good about that, you could just hit play and record and then hit stop and then hit play and record again to resume. But when you did that, uh, it made for a very choppy sort of uh, transition between shots and the end of the shot ending would be, would be very abrupt. And uh, it was always smoother to use this switch to pause and begin the recording. And on the back there, we have a plug for an adapter. And we also have an RCA plug so we could connect it to uh, a television or VCR. And there was a special box, and I will show that in the next video, where you could interface between this camera and your VCR or television. And also, up here we have the viewfinder. Mm -hmm. So, again, uh, a very very interesting little machine uh, and I'm glad I've hung on to this I hear that they sell pretty quickly on the second-hand market I've heard that uh, a lot of art films have actually been done with this little video camera if you ever see the movie slacker by director Richard Linklater there's a scene towards the end of the movie that was shot with the PXL 2000 and also a number of music videos have been shot with the PXL 2000. Uh, there was a video years ago by Daniel Lanois uh, that was partly shot with the PXL 2000. There's, there's been quite a few over the years. So again, that's just my basic little introduction to the PXL 2000. Again, I wasn't going to get into too many details, but uh, I do hope to hook it up very soon and look at some of the old tapes that I filmed back in the day and you may not be able to see it but right down here it actually indicates 1987 and that it was made in Japan and also I will show you uh, the kit that I bought also came with this little stand that you could use to stand up the camera and I'll demonstrate that for you you just clipped it on around here and voila by doing that you were able to stand the camera up uh, you could do this stand the camera up hit record and then run and get into the shot that was always one real handy thing about that stand okay well that's my look at the fisher price pxl 2000 thank you so much for watching please uh, keep an eye out for my second video which i hope to post in the not too distant future um, if you've owned a PXL 2000, let me know. Leave a comment. Uh, what, what are your thoughts? How did you find? Did you enjoy using the PXL 2000? Let me know. Uh, give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you. As always, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps my channel grow and I will appreciate that so much. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye.